Welcome to It Was Never You, where we talk about narcissism, complex PTSD, and recovery from complex PTSD. So I just wanted to give a word of encouragement and just to let you know that there will come a time in your life where you no longer believe that you are a victim of abuse. Because too often when we focus on the abuser... When we focus on the abuser and what they have done, what ends up happening if it continues for years and years and years, we end up continuing the cycle of looking at ourselves as a victim and we look at the abuser as wrong and we, we, in the, when, when a human being evolves, when a human being is enlightened when they are in the light, when they walk in the light, there's a certain amount of self-reflection that goes into that process. When you are constantly focusing on the abuser and you're looking at their wrongs and what they've done and you're constantly seeing yourself as a victim, you see yourself as kind of righteous and justified. And um, this is not victim shaming. I'm just stating my my beliefs and you don't have to adhere to them at all um but when we are not looking at ourselves and looking when we constantly are looking at ourselves as a right one and the abuser as a wrong one there is no room for self-reflection therefore there is no room for evolution there is no room for evolving there is no room for growth there will come a time in your life where you stop looking at yourself as a victim and you start seeing yourself as a victor and that will come through self-reflection and through looking at the things now i'm not talking about the children but now as an adult okay so the the title the the title of this channel is it was never you because it was never you when you were a child now you are an adult and you you as the abuser is are responsible for your own behavior however you're not an abuser you you were a victim of abuse but you have as an adult the ability to critically think and to self-reflect on the situations and the things that have gone on in your life you have all the tools that you need to establish boundaries to see yourself as a victor to establish rules for what you will and will not accept in your life. You know the red flags. You see them coming. What will you choose to do with those red flags? Will you continue to see, will you continue to identify as that child victim? Or will you do the work, do the child uh, self-love? Will you, will you love yourself? Will you love yourself enough? to not continue to allow yourself to be abused by toxic people? Will you see your identity not as it was told to you, but as God tells you your identity is? Will you choose to walk forward or will you constantly be looking in the rearview mirror at what was done to you? And I'm not speaking from a place of condemnation. I'm speaking from a place of, I don't want you to go through what I went through. I don't want you to sit for years and years and years looking at the things that have gone on in your life, constantly filled with the same amount and level of anger and rage. They will become stories if you allow them to become stories. If you do the work, if you seek him if you seek therapy, if you seek a peer-to-peer recovery group, if you look for, for ways out as opposed to staying stuck in that mentality of you yourself being a victim, because you no longer are a victim. You are an adult now and you are capable and you are able to make your own decisions and you know what makes you uncomfortable and you know the things that people are doing are, are wrong to you. What will you do with those injustices? How will you deal with them? It's a constant refinement, constant self-reflection. It's, it becomes a constant walk and a path. And you're on the right track. You just got to keep going. And the days will come where you will stop looking in the rearview mirror. The things, the things will fade. The stories will fade. The stories will just become stories. You will tell them and there won't be that visceral 
reaction, the, the rage that is attached to them. I am telling you from my own experience, if you do the work, it, it will dissipate. Those emotions will dissipate and you will move forward. But when we're constantly looking at what an abuser or what somebody has done to us, you don't have the ability to move forward because you're looking at yourself as, as just completely and totally righteous and there is no self-reflection involved and you will stay stagnant and you will stay stuck at where you are.